for the people that are almost done with their Windows Hack the Box or other challenge and have just been so tired of grinding away and all they need to do is get past Windows Defender. This last time, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to get past Windows Defender in a very easy way with just MSF Venom and some Python cheese. The first step is to create our MSF Venom payload with MSF Venom. Our payload will be stageless to prevent the second stage from being flagged by Windows Defender. Windows x64 interpreter reverse TCP. Set our L host and our L port. And then our format. Instead of doing the generic like format DLL or format EXE, which would get caught by Windows Defender, we need a special format. If you don't remember what the format is, you can go to MSF Venom, d-l, list all your formats. Zoom into this, and the format I am looking for is Python Reflection, which will not only create the script for our payload, but also include our shellcode. However, there's one issue with Python Reflection, is when you statically cross-compile it, or fake cross-compile it, it is missing an important component, which we'll need to include later. So I'll output this as reload.py. All right, we have our payload. Now all we need to do is fix reload.py by doing an import of C types. Now that has been fixed, we need to natively fake cross compile by using a previous method with py installer and wine dash f standalone binary. And then we'll do reload.py. While that is compiling, I will launch Metasploit. We'll just move our resource file here and then just do MSF console, our resource file msf.rc. What is in this file is basically a different way to launch our listener that I learned from Pebble. So if we cat msfrc, instead of doing exploit multi-handler, what we can do is say, I want to use only this one payload type set our L host or L port, and then run exploit. What this will do is it'll run it as a Metasploit job. MSF console dash R MSF RC. It will launch Metasploit. Zoom in to make it a little bit easier to look at. It sets our payload, it sets our interface, and then it runs it. If we do job, we can see that the multi-handler is active. All we have to do is go into the disk directory where py install will compile our payload and just spin up a handy dandy python web server to move the file over which is in use that's unfortunate so we'll just go to 8000 coming back to our windows machine in this case this is a windows 10 machine we will run dl actually that's not going to work anymore because DL is for port 80, which is in use. So curl. A thousand reload.exe dash o reload.exe. We grab our file. It's not copy Windows Defender when we drop it to disk. When we run reload, nothing happens. No Windows Defender alerts, but we have a interpreter session. Sessions, get UID, well, session one, get UID, Windows 10 dev box. All right, it's working as intended. But some people may say, what about Windows 11? I have a new freshly installed Windows 11 virtual machine where Defender is running. It's neutered a little bit because I'm only gonna test the component of Windows Defender which is active, but we're not going to do any of the cloud delivery sample submission stuff for obvious reasons. Kind of like in the Windows 10 example. CMD. Make this a little bit bigger. We'll go into curl. All right. Six, eight. And it's falling off the screen, of course reload.exe dash uh, reload.exe as we can see 
on our Windows 11 machine that it has not flagged our payload as malicious. I'm going to run reload, but before I do that, I'm going to restart my listener. Oh, it's still running. Okay, that's good. That's good. Going to run reload again. Going back into our terminal, we can see that we have another interpreter session. If I do sessions, we have interpreter session one on a Windows 10 machine, and we have interpreter session two on a Windows 11 machine. And that concludes this video. Have fun finishing the rest of your machine and getting past Windows Defender with this very cheesy evasion technique. After all that hard work and get yourself to sleep because nobody likes to stay up until one in the morning banging their head against the wall because their tools no work. Hope to see you all in the next one and take care.